Hi guys, today I am doing a very easy everyday makeup tutorial that you can use for any occasion. This is a great option if you want to add just a little bit of glam to your everyday makeup routine. If you guys want to see a list of all the products I use for this look, you could click on the link below to my blog and to see how to get this look, just keep watching. I'm starting by prepping my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. This is a great step to do to ensure that your makeup lasts all day long. So I'm just squirting out a little bit, about a dime size, onto my fingers, rubbing that in, and then applying it in the key areas, your forehead, nose, cheeks, chin, and then anywhere else, whatever is left over on your hands. Next, I am applying a bit of concealer underneath my eyes. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. This is a great step if you want to get rid of any under eye circles or just to brighten up your eye area. And I'm using my mint brush number 12 concealer brush to apply this. I like to apply and then blend out. If you have any redness around certain areas, you could go in with your concealer brush. A lot of times you get redness around your nose. So just go in and cover that up as well. If you have any blemishes, you could also cover that up. I'm using a very lightweight sheer foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations to wear in the summer because it's super lightweight. I pumped out about one to two squirts into the palm of my hand. And I'm just dipping my Mint 42 Skunk Brush into this. Then we're going to buff this into our skin. This technique just gives your skin such a beautiful natural finish. No one will even be able to tell that you have any foundation on, but your skin will look flawless. You want to set your makeup with a bit of powder. I'm using the MAC Blot Powder and the color that I'm using is medium dark and I'm using the new Mint 44 Powder Brush just to buff this powder in. This is a very lightweight powder so it's perfect for throwing into your purse because you could use this to touch up throughout the day without your makeup looking cakey or heavy which a lot of powders can do sometimes so this is a great uh, powder for touching up and then just for every day it's nice and lightweight next I'm using my Joe fresh bronzer I've gone through this so quickly <laughs> it's one of my favorite bronzers I'm gonna have to find a replacement soon and I'm using mint brush 16 and we're gonna just add a bit of contour just to give our face a little bit of shape to it. So I'm kind of doing my fish face just to pop out those cheekbones and then you can find the hollow of your cheek and that's where you want to apply the contour. If you guys have recommendations for a really great bronzer that you love, I would love to try it out. Just leave it for me in the comments below. I'm on a quest for finding a new bronzer. So I would love your help. For blush, I'm using this really pretty blush from Bare Minerals. This one is called Indecent Proposal. And this is a great color for every day and it'll go with whatever other makeup that you're wearing. It's a very universal color. And I'm applying it with the new Mint Brush 46 Blush Brush. We've perfected our skin, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows, which is a very key step whenever you're doing any makeup look. I'm using a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm using my double-ended eyebrow brush from Mint. This is number 36. I've just brushed up the hairs with the spoolie end. I'm going in with the angled side to fill in just in the spots that I need it. So same thing, if you guys have full brows, just fill in 
wherever you need it. I don't think I've ever had a client where I didn't fill in their brows, no matter how full their brows were, because they're never totally even. They don't have to be perfect or anything, but they just want to look well-groomed. And if you have really thin brows, don't be afraid to use a bit of eyeshadow to create the shape that you want. If you guys are interested in a tutorial on eyebrows, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you guys would want to see. Something specific on just eyebrows. So I'm just going in with this eyeshadow and just filling it in until I get pretty much the shape that I want. I'm prepping my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eye Primer. This is a great eye primer because it's really easy to apply. It's got the wand, so you could just add a few drops to your lid and then blend it out with your finger. And you want to blend up and out towards your eyebrows. For eyeshadows, I'm using this palette from Sephora. This is their Moonshadow Baked Palette and it's called In The Heat. There's lots of colors in this palette and there's a lot of colors that you can use for every day. They have some of the brighter tones as well, but all of these are really great neutral colors. These ones right here, uh, they're really great neutral colors for using for everyday looks. So I'm starting off with a mix of this color and a bit of this light bronzy tone. These are the colors that I'll be using. And I'm using my Mint Brush 22, which is just a nice flat eyeshadow brush, which is great for packing on eyeshadow onto your lid. With the edge of the brush, I'm dipping in the really light eyeshadow. I'm going to use that as a highlight in my inner corner. Next, I'm taking my blending brush. This is Mint Brush 20, and I'm going in with these slightly darker tones, this one and a mix of this bronze as well between these two, blending that into my crease area. And if you have a little bit left on your brush, just sweep it along your lower lash line just to frame and shape your eye. Next, take your favorite cream liner. I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua Black. I'm going in with my Mint Brush 26 angled brush, angled liner brush, just getting all that product onto both edges of the brush. And this brush is great because it's super thin, so you can get a really nice thin line which is what we want for this look. So the trick for doing this is you just want to follow the natural curve of your lash line. We're really just adding a bit of thickness I'm not creating too much of a wing, just a really, really slight one, just to extend the length of my eye, which can be very flattering. This is a very easy way of doing liner. If you guys don't get it the first time, just keep practicing and it'll, and it'll get easier and easier every time you do it. So next we are going to curl our lashes and then we're gonna add tons of mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is this new one that I got from Bare Minerals. It's called Lash Domination. If you have a few more minutes, you could throw on a pair of false lashes for this look as well. For lips, I'm doing a very neutral lip color. The one that I'm using is by MAC and it's called Hug Me. And this is as neutral as it gets. It's pretty much the exact same color as my lip color. 
There you go, that is the final look for this easy everyday makeup tutorial. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you could stay up to date with all my new videos. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, you could follow me at Iman Makeup and also on Twitter at Iman Makeup and there you guys will get to see a lot more of like behind the scenes pictures and a lot of the stuff that I'm just doing in my everyday life. And you could also always send me your requests through Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!